Hey everybody, Vicki here, and today I want to talk to you about why actually not being that technical English school writer is actually better for your business. Okay, so you might be a little bit surprised about this. A lot of people come to me about writing their book and they're like, but I'm not a good writer or I don't know how to put my thoughts down correctly or um, maybe English wasn't the best subject. I have heard so many stories about people who are now writers who were told that they were not a good reader writer when they were in elementary school, middle school, or, you know, whatever. And they were discouraged by that, and they were fearful of that when they got older. But here's the thing. Academia is totally different than your business and how you communicate. One of the best things that you can do for your business is to insert your personality. And part of inserting your personality is how you talk, right? So you'll notice in some of my books that some of the sentences are not technically grammatically sentences. You know, sometimes people do a word, dot, a word, dot, a word, dot, you know, oh, dot, my, dot, gosh, dot, right? Those are not sentences, but this is how you emphasize the words that you're speaking. So actually, sometimes when people are too academic, their things, when I read them, end up being very textbook-like. They don't have as much personality, and they're trying really hard to make all the sentence structures perfectly perfect, all their grammar perfectly perfect. Now, I'm not saying that you don't need some sort of structure because you want to make sense, right? That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is pretty much if you can talk and communicate and you can communicate to your client, which I'm guessing that you can, you can write your social media posts, you can write your book, you can write just about anything, your email, your copy, everything. You just need to know what to put in them, what to put as the components for your story, what to put in as the components of your book, what topics will be intriguing, and what types of things you need to remember to elaborate on and describe, you know, like the five senses. When you can create something where the people feel the breeze in their hair, where they can smell the cinnamon muffins baking, or cinnamon rolls, I meant cinnamon rolls, cinnamon rolls baking, people start imagining those things. So when you get good at telling a story, that's really all you need. You don't need to be a perfect grammarian, is that a word? <laughs> See, I don't even know if that's a word. Um, you don't have to be an English major, you don't have to have, um, been the star student in school and in fact sometimes the worst writers are the best writers because they just let that flow let the thoughts flow and then they figure out how to put those in a cohesive way which is what i help people do right so if you're at all tentative about writing your book putting out copy wondering what people are going to think just do it from a place of serving, speaking from your heart, being you, and just communicating. All right, that's my tip for today. Let me know in the comments below if this helps you and how you feel about all the technical aspects of writing or if you're really relieved that you can chuck those out the window.